Hello citizens and welcome back to Would You Rather. Today we're just going to do a couple questions and see if I agree with everybody else in the world. Probably not. I did terrible on this last time. I seem to go against the flow. But here we go. Alright, here we go. Would you rather return a punt in an NFL game or spend 90 seconds in the ring with Mike Tyson in his prime? Okay. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay, I used to play a little bit of football back in my high school days. I never liked special teams because people are running at you full speed trying to hit you. But getting punched by one of the best boxers ever would probably not be pleasant. I think I'm going to have to go with return a punt in an NFL game. Oh, good. That was a good answer. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Started off right. Let's see what else we got here. Let's go on. Let's see. During a ro uh, rowdy boxing match, would you rather have a section of your ear bitten off, Mike Tyson reference, or lose your own, uh, lose your two front teeth? I feel like teeth are easier to replace than earlobes, so I'm gonna go with lose my front teeth. Yeah, pff, I lost what? You get your freaking dental teeth put in freaking real easy. I, I, I am not mad about that decision. I am perfectly fine with that. If you were crippled, if you were to be crippled, would you rather break an arm with a slightly painful infection or break a leg? What? Infection is bad. Infection could lead to death. Infection is no bueno. Break a leg. Yeah, good people. People picked right on that one. Would you rather be able to survive any injury or fall or be able to put any Acne Corporation product out of your pocket? Pull out any acting. Okay. Uh, survive any injury or fall. Like, my favorite thing about, like, the Portal games was the long fall boots where you can just, like, jump from any height and land and not even be phased. I choose injury or fall. And I chose correctly, I guess. I mean, opinionated-wise, I chose correctly. Let's see. Would you rather talk to, like, Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader? If I breathe like Darth Vader I probably wouldn't be able to sleep at night so yeah talk like Yoda at least I speak good yeah there we go people agree with me all right if you were having a baby and the technology existed would you rather genetically alter your child or leave it to nature leave it to nature I'm people I like uh, this is I know it's a tough one for me it's gonna be Leave it to nature. The reason being is I, I do believe things should happen naturally. I know there's ways you can tell if your kid has like Down syndrome before it's born and stuff, and then you can choose things that are kind of sub touchy subjects. But I, 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 for me, I always like to try to do things the way nature wants to do them. I know that sounds kind of stupid if you can control it, but... I absolutely love science, but this is one of the few things in science where I just kind of don't think I, I care for it that much. You may disagree with me, but I, I leave it to nature. I, I just don't feel like genetically altering my child to be the way I want it to be. I feel like that's not a decision I should be making. All right. Would you rather never be able to feel emotions or never be able to express emotions? Ooh, that's a good question. It's good to feel happy and even like experience sadness can be good if you'll use it in a positive way like ah feeling emotions is good never being able to express emotions I rather feel emotions I rather feel happiness and excitedness and all these great things there's a lot of bad things too I mean sadness pain and all that but never be able to express my emotions like I'd be alright if I was happy and couldn't express to somebody I was happy. I think I'd be alright with that. I think I'll go with that one. And it seems like the world agrees with me. Let's move on. Um, would you rather get married to someone you don't love or get married to the love of your life but you can never have sex with them? E okay. I'm not going to get into my opinions about sex and marriage and all that. But if you marry somebody and like you don't love them and you're just in the relationship just to have sex, you're not going to have a long marriage, in my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist or anything. But this is the wrong, like, assuming I'm kind of throwing the sex thing in both of them, even though this doesn't specifically say sex. <sighs> Getting married for with somebody you don't love, that's not good. That's not good for you. It's not good for them. 
getting married with the love of your life and never being able to have sex is not the worst. It's not bad. It's not a bad thing. Like you probably be perfectly happy. You are going to be perfectly happy. It's the love of your life for crying out loud. What could go wrong? So what? You don't have this little bit. It. I choose that one. Good. There's this brings a smile to my face. There's more good people in the world. Not that choosing this is a bad thing, but this is the more I think that's the morally correct thing to choose. In my morals, that's what I would choose. Would you rather know the exact time and place of your own death or know the exact time and place of the death of everyone around you? <sighs> I don't want to know when I'm going to die. I, I feel like I'd be dreading that day for every day. But if I knew when everybody else died, I'd be perfectly fine with that. I'm surprised I picked the right one. Awesome. Would you rather fight like Jackie Chan or fight like Jet Li? Oh, wait. Would you rather not fight like fight Jackie Chan or fight Jet Li? No. I watch this guy play ping pong with freaking nunchucks. No. Jackie Chan, he's... Definitely gonna kill me, beat me down for sure, but at least he's kind of funny and he's a clown and maybe I stand a little longer chance with him before he actually breaks my freaking neck, so we'll go with that one. Yeah, that one's a pretty easy one. In the unlikely survival situation, would you rather go swimming with sharks or go swimming with alligators? Okay, assuming that I may not die with one, Sharks only eat us because they think we're something else. Alligators, I think, just eat anything. I think I have a better chance with sharks. Sharks bite you, drag you down. You're going to feel pain and stuff, but you're going to drown probably too. But, like, I've watched alligators eat things, and they tear you apart and spin in circles and tear you in shreds. And, ah, uh, I'd rather go swimming with the sharks. Oh, gosh, that one blew up too, so I picked the right one. Would you rather slay the dragon or rescue the princess? I love dragons. If I was, if dragons were real and I was a knight in ye olde times, if there was dragons, I would probably be like, oh, it's a dragon. Burn my face, please. I'd rather rescue the princess because I think dragons are cool. I have a bearded dragon only for the fact that his there's dragon in his name. And I also named him after the How to Train Your Dragon Toothless because I love Toothless. Trademark How to Train Your Dragon. It's awkward. It's moving on. Would you rather eat a hot dog or eat a hamburger? I'm a vegetarian. I'd eat neither. But I've had to choose. Hot dogs typically aren't like they're mystery meat. They're basically the bologna. Uh, basically bologna, but you cook it. Hamburgers can most of the time be stay. Ugh, those are both gross. Hamburger. I'm just look thinking about it. Would you rather ha only have access to YouTube on the internet or only have access to games on the internet? Okay, so this is a question. Okay, I'm going to think they're asking about like internet games, not like games you can buy on Steam. Yes, you buy Steam games on the internet, but I'm thinking they mean, no, they think they mean anything. But I can still buy discs and put them in my freaking computer. So... I, I would kind of suck because I do love Steam. I don't like having discs. But I absolutely love YouTube. I watch so much YouTube. I only do... I'm doing YouTube now. Uh, I enjoy doing YouTube. The only reason I'm doing YouTube is because I watch so many people do it. And I just wanted to do it because it looked fun. And I enjoy watching people like Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, NerdCube. I even watch Angry Joe Show. Freaking, I watch a lot of freaking gamers play games. Um... So, I, YouTube going away is probably a no for me, because I think of the time I spend. I don't spend a lot of time on the internet, but when I do, it's YouTube. I'm going, I can't get rid of YouTube, there's no way. I just say goodbye games. I can watch people play games, I'd be perfectly fine with that. I've done it. That's actually the main reason I got in, like, the first YouTuber I watched play video games was Markiplier, because... My brother was like, hey, go check out this game called Al Alone, I think it was called. It's an Oculus Rift game. You're sitting on a couch. You're playing a game. It's a game inside of a game. It's Gameception. And the video I happened to find happened to have Markiplier and absolutely loved his move, uh, his sh the show or channel, whatever you want to call it. And I watched a lot of – every time a game came out, he was, like, on top of it. And I was like, oh, like – 
if I like the game, so I, I can watch the story and get the story out of it. And if I liked it enough, I just go buy it myself. There are some games I was like, oh, I don't need to buy that because it was kind of like uh, a game that I probably wouldn't need to have bought, but I bought anyways. Was like FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's. I I don't particularly think that game is the most entertaining game ever, but it had a cool lore. Um, I would have been perfectly fine watching somebody play that and not buy it, but I bought it because it's freaking awesome. So, moving on. Would you rather forget who you were or forget who everyone you know is? For, or forget who everyone you know is? Ew, that's like an Alzheimer's thing. That's actually one of my diseases I'm like deathly afraid of. I don't want to forget like my loved ones. Like forgetting who I am would be okay. I wouldn't really care. But if I like, I when I was doing the nursing thing, I, my first job was at an old folks home and they had an Alzheimer's unit. And working that unit was really sad it was really sad because these people these 30 year old adults would come in and go see their you know grand or their their father and it was the weirdest thing you show them a picture of their their like say daughter when they were like 15 16 or whatever age younger age maybe at their wedding or something and they would like a lot of the times remember oh that's my daughter but their daughter would walk in the room and they aged, and they don't remember. It's Alzheimer's is the craziest thing. It's like they're stuck in the past. Uh, when I worked there, that was like the most craziest thing I learned about Alzheimer's. Is a lot of them are just seem like to have regressed to a period in the past. It, it's the craziest thing. Not recognizing their spouses a lot of the times. Most of the time, they do kind of seem to remember their spouses, at least where I worked. But their kids, definitely, they had a hard time remembering as adults. So... Uh, I'd rather forget who I was, forget who I was, definitely. Okay, yeah, the world seems to agree. All right, one more question. Would you rather constantly stumble when walking or constantly stutter when speaking? I'll leave this one to you. If you want to leave a comment down below and tell me what you would choose, please do that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your time. I will probably do some more of these as time goes on, but for now... Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye!